This is the presentation for our ICCV 2021 paper towards rotation and variance in object detection. The paper proposes a novel method for rotating a bounding box label that allows rotation augmentations to be used more effectively in object detection. This improves the rotational invariance of object detection models and is useful in a number of applications. For example, if we train an object detection model without rotation augmentations, then the model struggles to recognize the majority of the rotated objects. If we train a model using the largest box method, which is the existing method of rotation augmentations, then even though we may detect more objects, the boxes will be too big. We propose a novel method that allows us to get tighter boxes and many more detections. The problem is visible when we look at the difference between training with and without rotation augmentations on Anna's Coco. Training without rotation augmentations actually leads to better generalization, which should not be the case. And this can be a really big problem. For example, we tried training on a dataset from a CVPR 2020 robotics paper. And we found that when you train with rotation augmentations, you actually get much larger boxes than you should and therefore large degradation in performance. This is a known problem in the community. It has been noted in many papers, open source repositories, and GitHub issues. The problem stems from the rotational ambiguity of bounding boxes. For instance, if we rotate the scene, we get the following image. And if we know the shape of the object, getting the new bounding box is easy. But in most datasets for object detection, the precise shape of the object is unknown. All we get is the rotated bounding box label. In the rotated label, there is no way of knowing if the new ground tooth is this box or any of these other boxes. Today, this ambiguity is solved by using a shape prior. What is used is the largest possible shape prior, the bounding box itself. This ensures that the new bounding box will capture the entirety of the object, but often causes other problems. The largest possible shape prior leads to the largest possible box. But when your label is the largest possible box, it's almost always too big. And so it can lead to oversized labels and oversized predictions. For our solution, we start by looking at the rotated box and assume that it must come from a set of possible shapes. This set of possible shapes has a corresponding set of possible ground tooth boxes. We want to estimate a bounding box that is likely to have good IOU with all possible boxes. And we wish to find the shape prior that will lead to this box. To do so, we use a differentiable shape approximation and gradient descent to optimize over expected IOU. We show that this actually converges to an ellipse, and so we adopt the ellipse prior. To further validate this process, we tried many other priors and see that as the prior improves in expected IOU, it also improves in performance. This is the first part of our solution, taking the shape prior as an ellipse and rotating the box accordingly. Comparing the IOU between MS Coco's ground truth labels and the ellipse prior shows a significant improvement over the largest box method. To improve the model's performance even further, we introduce rotational uncertainty loss. When training on rotated labels, we are not certain that the label is 100% accurate. If the model achieves relatively high IOU with a very uncertain bounding box, we nullify the loss. Uncertainty is a function of the label rotation. At zero degrees, we are 100% certain of the label's accuracy. As we progress to higher rotations, we become less and less certain. And when we look at the results on MS Coco, we find that our method improves performance at every rotation and leads to much tighter boxes. When we look at the performance on the robotics dataset, we find that our method leads to an improvement across the board. Testing on other datasets shows similar results and noticeable improvement in performance. Our method is also easy to implement, as it is only a few lines of code to change, which will be made public. We hope that this paper is the next step to rotational invariance in object detection. Thank you for listening.